Good job, little one. All right, so now you're gonna take this. Okay. When you feel the dog is starting to get too far to the left, in front, behind, distracted, make sure you get on the button. And just keep the dog with you. Little thing. Good, button, button. So what you do is you're gonna walk over to that bench. The one that says HB. Just put your dog on place. Button, button, button. Just use a little leash to show the direction. Go button, button, button. There you go. All it is is just a little bit of the direction. And it goes, all right, I get what you're doing. So many people walk right up here, and it's like there's no tension going forward. It's just I'm following you, so then I think we're standing right in front of stop. Okay. Yeah, I got you. So just a little bit of leash tension, the dog will pop right up. Thank you. Yeah, is that how you feel? <laughs> Uncle Dylan keeps you safe. It's like first day she wanted to bite me, next day. All right, I like your lap. Hey. Yep, every time the dog like tries to get off, just say place and get on the button. And the dog's just, and it's okay that it moves around to kind of see where you're going, but if it seems like it's gonna get off, go place and just reinforce it. Good job, little one. Place. The real test, go walk down to that bench and have a seat. See me place. Place, but, 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 but. Please. Good. Now walk. Nope. Please. See you, please. All right, now try to walk over there. Now walk back, and then you're gonna walk to that chair. So just walk past the dog. And this is gonna help with the separation anxiety of the dog thinking it needs to stick with you every two seconds. Good job, Stevie. Now walk back and give some affection. So right now we're working on creating some distance while the dog's on place. This way we can work through some of the separation anxiety issues that this dog has. If you want to have a seat for a second. And then you're gonna gently use the leash to get the dog back over here and you're gonna get up and walk away again. And that way the dog gets used to you getting up and leaving and not needing to follow you. Attention, good. Same place. Nice. Good. It's all right. Good job. It's okay, little one. It's okay. He'll be back. Yeah. He'll be back for you. Let's see if you can get the dog to come. Tell her to come.
Tons of love. Good job. i put her on place again. Okay. Yep. Wait. Good. The fact that it does get to run to you, if we can do this drill, builds the confidence, right? Okay. It's like if you can tell your kid, just wait here, and then come to me, it's like, oh my God, Dad, and it runs. So that moment that it ran to you, it like felt good, I'm getting something. But this is where it needs to work through, because you can see tail tucked in between his legs. It's sitting, but it's shaking. Could be a little cold, could also be just a little nervous, but there's not a lot of stuff here, you know? You speed up, see how the dog's speeding up? Literally just galloped. Good job, little one! Who's excited? Come on. Who's excited? Come on. Yeah. Oh, I love you. Yeah. You happy? Oh, buddy. So, this dog is a beast. You're a beast. You are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Relax. Relax. You're crazy. You're crazy. I know. I love you. I love you. I love you. I get it. So this is what the owners deal with all the time. Hey, I think he's humping me. Get out of here. So he is a crazy, a crazy dogo. Lots of energy. But he needs some help. He needs to get under control. He's pulled the owners. He's knocking them over. And he's only a puppy. He doesn't even know what he's doing. You don't even know what you're doing. You're just a big lover. I know, is that a dog? <gasps> oh my goodness, a dog. I know. Come on. So this dog's biggest problem is he thinks he's in control. He wants to get to the end of the leash. He wants to pull. Come. So on the plus side, the dog is not that dog reactive, but he just doesn't want to listen. Come. Come. Oh, I know. I know. I know! Go say hi to mom. Oh. Good, sit. Sit. Good. How you doing? How are you? I thought I saw, I was like, that dog looks too familiar. Hey guy, yeah. yeah. Nice. How's your pack? I love it. See you later. That was trailing tails. Come on, big guy. 
There you go. He's like a lion. Come. Place. Good job. Oh, I love you. I know how. I know. <laughs> You're such a goofball. Place. Good. Good job. Come. Come here. Come here. I oh, thank you. Oh, I appreciate it. I do. I appreciate the hug. Place. Good job. Good job. Yeah. take them today and go work them at the dog beach. I've got a few other clients that are kind of meet me there with their dogs, so I'm going to use him as a distraction for yeah. them. Hey, Charlie, you have like long hair. It's so cute. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, big That'll bear. be great. Come on. Let's go. Oh, are you just a big baby? going to be difficult to get in the car again? You're even making a funny face. Come on. Come on. Come on. Why are you so goofy? Brought them both. Yeah. Hey. Hey there. Yeah, look at you wagging your tail. I see that. How has the barking been at the house? It's been better. Yeah, the, what do you think, Kev? Not existent. I was just telling her the other day, I go, she doesn't bark anymore. Yeah, I need her to All right, let's see if you can get them up. Nicely done, nicely done. That's how they feel. Like I have to sit on top of somebody and protect them. It's my duty. It's my duty to protect. <laughs> and then look who comes in. All right, I got him then. Somebody's got to protect this guy. He needs protection. Come here. There you go. Good. Good job. I love you. Thank you. Come on, break. There you go. Okay, so these dogs are incredible. I'm gonna bring out Charlie. Charlie's a new golden retriever that I'm working with, and we're gonna have Charlie 
be a distraction so that way we can test both of these dogs' obedience to see how good they really are. If you're active and responsible with your dog, you can help your dog work through their anxiety, their fears, anything that might be preventing them from enjoying life, right? Everything's about quality of life. We want the dogs to have a good quality of life and we want you guys to have a good quality of life. If we can bring that harmony into your family, now we're talking. small it's all the same anxiety is anxiety and they just need to come out more the more you come out the more you do stuff the more they can like this is panting out that anxiety it's like it's like a good workout you know same thing your dog's doing it's panting it's like I'm releasing that anxiety Ugh, let me get it out you come here for 30 days, the dog's detoxed out of nowhere, it doesn't pant, it just kind of goes, all right, I get it. I understand what I'm supposed to do. Listen, Charlie, it's not that tough of a life, all right? You're at the dog beach, just relax, all right? Goofball. One second, I gotta say hello to this dog. Come here. How did you think you did today? You're doing all right? Hey, you better mind your spaces. You guys are okay. Sometimes this is as close as they need to get, where they're like, all right, hey, we're both dealing with some shit. I'm not looking for a friend, but we can coexist. Don't do it. We're on it. We're going to end on a good note with the, you guys being friends. Not a growl. Don't do it. You're going to be all right? Will you tell this dog that he's gonna be all right? Okay. Break, break, break. Break, good, go to mama. Yep. Break. Oh, now you don't want to? And that's what a scared dog does. It's like, I didn't want to get on here, now I don't want to get off. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with myself. I'm gonna put Charlie away and we're gonna finish on the dog beach for a quick lesson. Oh. Aren't you just so photogenic? <laughs> Mom! <laughs> so do this, drop the leash. And I want you to just kind of walk around in this area and just keep the dog with you. You do have a dog behind you that's off leash. And you should be able to feel that when you press that button, the dog comes closer to you. And you can have that confidence that you don't need to have the leash to keep the dog with you. And this is good because the dog gets very distracted on the beach and wants to sniff. So once it starts to sniff something, but button, button, and it'll come and go into a heel. And that dog didn't come over. Good job. Oh, somebody's happy mom's back. Oh, no. Hey there. Look at you. Mom, I love you. I love you. I love you. Good job. Look at you wagging. You survived the beach. You did really good. Yeah. 
Good job. Okay, so if you guys have been watching, you know that I'm training a lot of really cute dogs. A lot of golden retrievers, some little dogs that are super cute. But one of the cutest dogs that I'm training right now happens to be Bodie. This puppy is just so adorable. Let's see how Bodie's doing today. Bodie! Hey! You know who that is. So you like to protect mom? Dad, I'll protect you too. I'll protect your boat. Too funny. How you guys doing? Good, how are you? Always good. Yeah, sorry for the little bit we literally ran out. So sure. No, it's all right. Come on. I actually want to work through the doorbell a few times and see if uh, yeah. we can get him to relax. Yeah. Wow. is to go in the yeah. table and cut to you, yeah. you want to be able to almost go, I'm anticipating that. Oh, exactly. And then I can prevent it. And that's what we ultimately specialize in. Reading what the dog's gonna do, and then now Bodie's going, all right, I guess, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna get love. I didn't know that's what happens. Okay, yeah, I know, no, Mr. Peabody. And this just needs to be the love station. So as hard as it is for you guys, yeah. because he's gonna to come to you, and you can see, he's like, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna get the affection. You, if he's on place, can come over and give this dog love 24 seven. Let him know he was you. And then what you need to do is practice leaving with him on the place. Yeah. Slightest noise. And just know that the first thing that you're gonna do is you wanna make all the noises in the house. Right? If you guys can master my dog's on place and I made all the noises possible yeah. in the house, like a bowl, kitchen, everything, exactly. I know that we mastered that. Then we can create some distance. And that way, when we get here and we start doing this, we don't lose the game immediately. And the dog's like, oh, I gotta go, I heard a noise. So you wanna clear the house, then you wanna clear outside, leave the door open, let's walk this way. We're testing the three Ds, distance, duration, distraction, with the place command with Bodhi. Will he stay on place? We're walking as far away as we can go. All right, we'll use right here as a marker. Let's walk back. Next time we'll get to the steps. Oh, there he is. He goes, don't leave me. Oh. Oh. Easy there, tough So guy. go put him back on place, as cute as it is. Don't leave me. If your dog knows that you can leave and you're gonna come back, and it doesn't have to do anything, that's a balanced nice. dog. Yeah. A dog that doesn't feel comfortable yeah. with you leaving because yeah. it doesn't know what you're gonna do, isn't balanced, isn't content. So, exactly, he's when he leaves, he cries and we hear it, and it's like, oh, we know we're coming back. Right, yeah, right. let's go outside. Place. Place. Let's see what happens if we shut the door. So nothing initially, right? Back. Place. Come on. Hey. Come on. Come on. Place. 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 So here's what I'll say. And you can come back in. Rather than letting the dog fail multiple times, is you guys want to keep this dog on place, watch a TV show, you need to cook, you need to do some work on the computer, go outside.
All right, so I'm on the five right now, and what do you know? It's Friday, and there's an accident. It's about 100 feet ahead of me right now, so we should be able to get a pretty good look of what uh, what's going on here. Every single day, there is an accident on the five. The statistic about flying is safer than driving is very true, because I don't know what it is. People don't know how to drive. This is ridiculous. At this point, I've seen two fire trucks, one ambulance, and a bunch of cops all pass right by me.